Hello everyone, this is Afra from Quick WordPress Websites. In this video, we will see how to arrange media files in folders in the WordPress dashboard. One of the drawbacks in WordPress media library is you can't have file folders. So if you have more files in the media library, when you're selecting a file is very difficult. So if you have folders, it's very easy. For that, go to plugins, click add new plugin and search for FileBird. Okay, this is the FileBird WordPress Media Library folders and file manager. Click install now. Then click activate. Okay, once you activate, you can see FileBird Lite also in the dashboard. Also, you can see FileBird. So let's click settings. In the setting, first it will ask for go for pro. So for the basic websites, no need for the pro version. So with the free version, you can do everything. Just click settings. So here, I activate all the general settings and also by default count files in each folder that also activated and the theme is default theme is activated but other windows and roadbox are pro features but that is not much important okay let's save the changes okay let's go to the media library click media click library now you can see on the left side you will have all files uncategorized so there are new folders appearing so with the free version you can create new folders as much as possible click new folder okay now you can rename the folder by giving as icons and click serve okay now one folder is created so if you want to click create a subfolder click that folder main folder and again click new folder now you can see it's creating the subfolder so let's give another name and save if you want to make it as in main folder, you can drag and drop as, as well. And also you can move the places. Okay, now I have created more than 15 folders using the free version. You can see. Okay, if you want to rename the folder, click the folder and click you can rename. Also, you can delete it. But the alphabetical rearrangement is a pro feature. But the count is activated. So how many files are available in the folder is displayed. So now you can see all files are not categorized so number of files and uncategorized files are equal so let's drag and drop some files to the folders click this bulk select and you can select files also you can press the control and select the files so multiple files are selected once you selected the files you can drag and drop here so i'll drag and drop some files into the icons folder now you can see the six files are available in the icon folder so at the same time the all files number of all files are the same number so this for actually these folders are the virtual folders the files permalink or the link to the wordpress website is not changed okay once you click the icons you can see the files in the icon folder is displayed separately so if you want you can delete here okay now you can see number of files and the number of uncategorized files are available so once you open uncategorized file folder you can select some missing files and also you can add to the same folder okay let's come back to the old files let's select some other files to the another folder so while pressing the control you can select multiple files okay drag and drop here so i have selected 20 files for interior design now you can see the number of uncategorized files are reduced again you go to the uncategorized files you can select some additional file to the same folder like that you can keep on adding once you open the folder, you can see the interior design folder having the interior design files. Okay, finally, let's see how to add this media folders directly to the WordPress websites. For that, go to a page you prefer. So let's open a new page. Here, giving a title called Gallery. And click plus icon in the WordPress Gettenberg. Here, search for FileBird. So now you can see the FileBird gallery is appearing. Click here. On the right side, you can see gallery settings. Here, you can select the folder you prefer. So, we are prefer the interior design folder. So, let's click interior design. Wow, it automatically added the, adding the interior design files into the WordPress website. So, it's very easy to add. So, you can increase and decrease the column sizes as well. So, let's increase to 4. You can see the column size is increased to 4. Let's click publish. Let's view the page. Wow, you can see the media gallery uh, folder files are directly appearing into the WordPress website. So it's very easy way. So for more videos, please subscribe to our channel and keep in touch.